call it a comeback. We are here. Welcome, everyone. I have returned. Uh, you know, rumors of my death, have, <laughs> rumors of my death, or the death of my channel have been greatly exaggerated. However, uh, this is technically the end of the TV time with Jay channel, at least as we know it. Um, so quick background and explanation. Uh, the only reason the channel died off is because, well, we can say it now. YouTube isn't going to just, you know, bonk me for it. The coronavirus. With COVID and how it fucked the entire world over, it also really fucked over the world of TV. And it made TV schedules really fucking wonky to the point where I just didn't know when TV shows were happening. Also, just kind of with COVID and how, how life-changing and life-altering it was, I just wasn't in a good mental space, if I'm being quite honest with y'all. I've always been very candid with uh, you know all you guys. I've, I've you know never really shied away from talking about that shit, so I'm, I'm cool with saying that here. But I'm happy to say that you know I'm in a much better place now. Uh, we're, we're, we're going hatless for this new era. You know, so you can uh, you can actually see my my lovely mug here. And yes, you know, I, a lot of you had questions about this before because I always wore hats. I am not bald, as you can see. I have quite a bit of hair. Um, so yeah, we are uh, we're back. We are gonna be doing TV and movie content once again. But I am not in it alone. You guys, remember, I also did a podcast with our boy Brian here. And uh, we are bringing that podcast back, and uh, it's going to be a weekly thing. We're going to basically cover a bunch of different TV shows and movies. We also have a third here, our friend Tony, and we'll, you know, we'll introduce Tony in a second. But I'm going to give Brian some time to reintroduce himself to everybody. You know, I've, wor I've worked with Brian a lot. I've plugged his channel a lot. Uh, you know, we work together pretty often. Uh, Brian's kind of my partner in crime. He's, he's, my, he's my Robin, as he likes to label himself. I I didn't actually give him mm. that label. He took that label himself. I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, hey, go ahead, Brian. Wrong. Hmm? And my Batman needs that Robin to equal him out. Oh yeah, for sure. But yeah, go ahead, That's Brian. The reason why he has him in the first place. But uh, hey, people. Um, I'm Brian. Um, part of Ch Channel Chasers since it first began. What? Like seven ish years ago, yeah, it was like 2014, 25th, yeah, 2014. I want to say when we first started, yeah, it was definitely That's around, eight years ago, definitely eight, around eight, there. nine years ago. Holy but shit, we haven't been going straight, we haven't been going for uh straight. We've done multiple iterations, audio only, video only. Yep, and uh, I think this is three point. I think this is three uh, version three point uh, which is probably what I'm going to label the uh, video. Uh, yeah, and uh, this time it is both. Yep. Um. So, uh, you know, uh, before Brian continues with his introduction, I'll go ahead and explain that uh, for those of you guys who are uh, who kind of want to know how this distribution is going to work. Uh. So essentially. Uh, you know, we moved the podcast to an audio-only format. You can find us on Spotify and Apple Podcast um, and a bunch of other different platforms. But Spotify and Apple Podcast are our two biggest ones, and, and uh, you can find us the easiest up there. Mm -hmm. And uh, how it's going to work is uh, the audio version will be up on Mondays, and the video version will go up on Tuesdays. So... You know, if you want access to the episodes early, if you're not interested to hear, you know, our thoughts on a particular show or movie, then, uh, you know, you go over to Spotify or Apple Podcast, listen to the audio version. But if you would love to see our lovely faces and just want to actually, like, you know, see our expressions as we talk about these shows and, you know, how they affected us, you can wait a day and watch the video. Or, you know, you could be awesome and do both. Because, uh, you know, engagement definitely helps. Uh, links will be in the description. I'm going to uh, work on adding all that stuff to the channel. Uh, hopefully by the time this video goes up, 
Uh, but yeah, it's a, you know, I'm excited to, to be back with you guys. I, I, I've missed you all. I, I really have. Uh, and you know, Brian and I, you know, we, we were in this game a very long time and, uh, you know, I, I, I don't want to speak, yeah. I don't want to speak for Brian, but I, I definitely miss it. Uh, I, I do too. Um, part of the reason when, uh, 3.0 first started uh, back when we were uh, doing it on Twitch. Um, mm-hmm. Part of the reason why I uh, like agreed to do this is because uh, not only do I enjoy doing this, but also uh, let's be frank, it gives me a reason to watch TV and like actually gives me a reason to keep up with shows because during that time where I was not watching, where we were not doing Gaming Channel Tasters, and I wasn't doing uh, YouTube, I l- fell back on a lot of shows. Yep. Uh, Same. But uh, but I before that hiatus, I was doing regular uh, reviews on YouTube back during the like. CW height where they were like at their biggest. Also, let's do, and I was also just covering all, CW shows. But. I was gonna say. Also, let's not forget we were both pretty big in the uh, the Erper community as well. The Erpers showed us mad love. Uh, yeah, man. Indeed. Uh, Why not Erp was and a fantastic ended, show. Yep. I wish I got to cover I'm the still- finale. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Um. I'm still pissed about that because that was one of the shows that got unrenewed. Yep. Well, you know, you sniffy. But yeah. the shows that got banished to the Shadow Realm. That and Krypton, which again, fuck you, Siffy. Mm-hmm. Um And Deadly Class. Oh damn, I forgot that was that too! De- you know what, Siffy? There you go. You earned the second one. Plus, probably a couple others. I'm sure. I, I, I'm sure there's more. Uh, but, but, uh, but yeah. But, well, Winona Earp had such a big fan backing, though, that they actually paid for a yeah uh, Times Square billboard. billboard. Yeah, that was yeah. Fucking, that was fucking amazing. I love seeing that kind of unity in fandom, and you know that's hopefully what we'll be able to bring to you guys with this podcast. That's what we that's what we try to do mm-hmm. with uh, with this show. Um, and, uh, you know, we, uh, you know, if you, if you guys watch the, uh, you know, our fans from that way back in the day, uh, you know, on my channel and in the podcast in general, you know, we had, uh, before we covered pretty much everything, even if, you know, we thought shit was bad, we would still like spend entire episodes just shitting on things. In this iteration, we're taking a different approach. We're only covering shows that we know we like. And, you know, I know some people might be like, well, hey, isn't that like, you know, only, isn't that a little weird that you're only covering positive stuff? You know, not everything's going to be good. Yeah, but we're not, we're not, we're not actually covering um, everything. And the thing is, right, even though negative content generates more views, hell, my most viewed videos on here are rant videos Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, (laughs) Uh, let's not forget the let's not get, forget the infamous Iris one that got me in a lot of heat mm-hmm. with the uh, with the Candace mm-hmm. Patton fandom. Um, but I be- I believe uh, your three biggest though for hate: two arrow, one flash, two arrow, one flash, and one Pretty Little Liars, which is my biggest one. <laughs> Holy the, uh, the, Holy the 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 Emily Allison divorce video for any of you guys who happened to come across this video that were in my PLL fandom days. Yeah, y'all remember, I know y'all remember that video because that video got a fuck ton of views. I believe that, that they took the fan favorite ship and had them divorced off screen. Yup. And I, I, dude, I still remember making that video and just but, uh, the, the rage behind it. I remember putting the divorce papers as the thumbnail. Good times. Good times. But uh, anyway, uh, I've been a big, me personally, I've been a big TV fan. 
It's one of the things that connected me and Jay mm-hmm. uh, in the first place, beyond other stuff that we won't get into. Yeah. Uh, uh-huh. But, uh, but yeah, I did used to review TV. Brian was here. If you ever want to check it out, I might return. Uh, and I know they say when you make content online to not look at the numbers, but I after said. a while, it does start to get to you. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, like, and then, and then, and, and then uh, it's the numbers were starting to get to me, and then Jay was going through YouTube stuff and personal stuff, which made him have to stop reviewing TV, and so I was alone. Yep, and sometimes it, alone watching the show too. And, and yeah, yeah, it just got I, yeah. to me too much, and so yeah, I, 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 to- I called it quit. I totally get it, man. Uh, I, but like, you know, it, it, it it's one of those things. Uh, I, I just want you guys to know I didn't abandon y'all on purpose. Like, I I really I really love uh, I really love what I do, and I I made so many really good connections with you guys. I uh, was talking about shows, especially mm-hmm. when I was uh, especially when I was reviewing This Is Us because. Uh, Due to one of the plot lines in this is us uh, having a, uh, a, a Kate having a child with a disability, I really got to be open about my life growing up with a disability and like kind of seeing my parents in a different light because of seeing this perspective on this show. So I, I really got to uh, express myself properly in those reviews. I got very candid. There are several videos on this channel where you see me like just openly cry about shows that have that really just get got to me. Like I, you know and and like having that kind of open and uh you know vulnerability that that kind of relationship with you guys it it has meant a lot. And uh you know leaving wasn't my intention. I was going to keep going. And and you know YouTube didn't really stop me. It was honestly the whole just COVID thing and just me not being there mentally. And I didn't want to give you guys work where you could tell that I was forcing it. Uh, but, you know, we're in a better Yeah, point. <laughs> that was a kind of a similar thing for me, honestly. Yeah. Um, but, uh, and then, and then as we were maybe starting to feel better, it yeah. looks like TV started to implode. CW is dying. maybe dying definitely the definitely as a recording right now uh the arrowverse is dead yep uh we are currently in the middle of a writer strike as of recording this a lot of stuff is happening yep. but funny enough this is also just the perfect time to be back because there's just so much shit to talk about uh we've changed the structure of the podcast overall you're gonna see uh, when you actually get to see a full episode. You get to see we have different segments and different things like that. You know, obviously one of the big things of the show, and uh, you know why we love it personally so much, and why I think you guys all responded to it so well is because well, Brian and I just have really good chemistry as a uh, as host, and uh, you know, just a, a good back and forth. But with this new iteration, uh, we were like, you, you know, this is fun, but something's missing. We, we, we need, we need, we need, a, we need another force in here. And then we started inviting our friend Tony on for, you know, one, it started off with one episode and two, and then he just, he just wouldn't fucking leave. So now he's here. Uh, Tony, you want to introduce yourself to the people? Hey folks, uh, name's Tony. Nice to meet you. I'm just, well, I'm just this guy, these guys' close friend. I've been there for these dudes for the longest time, like over a decade. Yeah, it's over. It's been over a decade now. Mm-hmm. Holy shit! Yeah, and uh, these guys are my brothers. The I would help them out with the shirt off my back, and if since they requested my help with every well, sometimes it wasn't really they requested. I just asked politely. It's like, hey, you're doing a. Uh, a podcast episode on Vox Machina. Jay doesn't know much about it. Maybe Brian could have somebody that also has seen the show, knows the source material, 
maybe I can help him out with that. And Jay was like, yeah, cool, whatever. Yeah, and, and that's how that happened. And then, yeah, because uh-huh. that one worked because that one worked because I was a big fan of the source material. Jay knew nothing, and you were like a mid ground. Yeah, and, and then that episode went so well. I was like, wow, that was a really good episode. We we got a really good dynamic mm-hmm. with the three of us. And mm-hmm. then, and then it just so happened the next episode was another thing that we're interested in. Uh, we we also had you on the Sandman episode, which is, was also another fun one. Um, that, and gotta say, some of the things we talked about in that episode in particular, like mm-hmm. top tier, like oh yeah, thought, uh, interesting. Uh, un- unfortunately, uh, that uh, that episode isn't in the archive on Spotify because that was a Twitch exclusive episode. That was before I had the idea of oh wait, I do still have a method to upload this audio only wise. So unfortunately, that one's lost to the uh, the the, uh, the annals of the internet. Um, we had we had a couple that were like that. Um, mm-hmm. But it is. But, uh, but yeah. With so, yeah, so uh, with we, we brought Tony into the fold, and uh, he's, he's going to be a, a great uh, third voice, and also a, you know, a uh, secondary editor. We, we're really making this a, a Voltron team effort this time. You know, uh, I'll, I'll let you guys peek behind the curtain. I, I, don't, I don't normally do this all that much, but uh, in the original version... Uh, I was literally doing everything. Yeah, this mm-hmm. man worked himself until he realized. I uh, and, I have a crew, <laughs> and like and like you guys, uh, you know, uh, you know, speaking directly to you guys, the audience uh, who you know follow the channel. You, if you remember my channel, you should remember what my upload schedule was like. Oh my god, when they were like, when like. All the CW and like This Is Us and all of that were yep. all yeah. going full force. You were doing, yeah, like what twelve at a minimum twelve episodes a week plus a weekly a episode week? of the podcast. Like, yeah. th- thinking about that now, what was I on? I have no idea how the fuck I did all that, but I'm never doing that again. For my own sanity and just my goodness, that was that was a time. I I created some of the, the, the also, greatest uh, stuff. Mm-hmm. When that ended, though, you were definitely on big burnout. Oh, hundred thousand percent. I I I I, wor- I worked myself to fucking uh, Castor Gill death on the throne status, like I mean, for for fate bro. fans out there. Um, bro, you were like on. I know this is probably not a thing, but let's just call it functional burnout. Oh yeah, no, that that is pretty much what is happening. And like <laughs> again, like that was one of the reasons why I was just like, "Fuck it, I need to, I need to get out." Um, and um, again, mm-hmm. I, I I just want to say, and I'm I'm gonna make this I'm gonna make this clear once again. Uh, like I did not. This, uh, you know, my leaving had nothing to do with any of you. Uh, you know, I, I really appreciate you all. And, you know, if none of you come back and no one sees this video, perfectly fine. I, I just want to get that out there. But even if one of you who happened to see one Euphoria uh, video or, or one uh, Owl House video or one, you know, Legacies or Flash or Arrow video comes back and is like, hey, I remember this motherfucker. Welcome back. That'll be great. Uh, Which, um, I know that uh, we're going to be covering at least one of those going forward. Yep. Uh, that means catch up for me, isn't it? Not real. We're not going to. Uh, not, 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 for, not for Flash. No. We'll, no. Uh, I was talking about Euphoria. Yeah, Euphoria. Which, uh, oh, Euphoria! You will, you will, like, it has two seasons, and it's not that bad. Um, okay. They're like eight episodes, aren't they? Yeah, eight episodes, hour-long episodes. First season is really great. Second season is okay. Uh, I still have yet to... 
I think C or finish. Yeah, nah, like season two. I, uh, I'll tell you ahead of time. And, um, I'll tell you ahead of time, Brian. Uh, and you know, this will be a little teaser for our future Euphoria episode. Uh, the second season did not match any of the COVID specials. Uh, like you know, the the Rue spe- the, that amazing Rue mm-hmm. special, the really good Jewel special. Yeah, the, season two did not match the bar to that. Um, in my opinion. Oh damn. But, uh, and also, uh, me giving you a little bit of a teaser. Uh, from what I'm hearing, uh, they're saying that at this rate, especially with the writer's strike, mm-hmm. that um, season three, we might not get to see it until 2025. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be that's gonna be rough. And that, um, and that uh, speculation is that... Uh, they're going to be doing a time jump. And I hear that Homeboy is in a lot of hot water, uh, especially with his, uh, with his new show, The Idol, which we may or may not cover, depending on uh, how we feel about it after we watch it. Um, mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, this is a very... I, I meant for this to be a quick introduction video, but I really wanted to explain to you guys the situation. So, here it is, turning into a normal length J video. So, hey, you know... Welcome back. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Welcome uh, back. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> so this is uh basically just what you have to expect, but like you know, in a long two-hour format. So if you really enjoy us droning on, uh, definitely watch the videos. Or if you just want us to have it on in the background, just listen to the audio version. Or like I said, do both. Yeah. I'm cool with both. I will admit though that. That for the actual podcast, just to let y'all know, we do have a bit more structure. Yeah, yeah. There, there is there is definitely more structure in the actual podcast. And we have sound effects. Yeah, and contrary to anyone believing otherwise, we do not like to hear our own voices. Oh, I hate for the most part. I hate the sound of my own. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you guys God. for uh, tuning in and checking out this video. Um, and uh, thank you in advance to anybody who is returning and actually does want to see us uh, in the future. Uh, and uh, here's to another iteration of Channel Chasers and hopefully uh, to many more episodes uh, beyond to steal from uh, Brian's old channel catchphrase. Uh, but until next time, we'll catch you guys later. Peace.